Hello students, welcome back. Uh, in the previous class, we discussed about uh, Pythagoras theorem. Of course, that was not suggested in the textbook of our uh, NCRT CBSE book, but um, that was interesting proof that I am, uh, you know, I feel uh, much enjoy and comfortable with. That is why I just shared with you all. And now we are going to discuss about what is Pythagoras theorem, which is suggested in our textbook, right? So this Pythagoras theorem statement is all about Pythagorean theorem. So what is this Pythagorean theorem? Statement of Pythagoras theorem is in a right angled triangle, in a right angled triangle, in a right angle triangle, the square of hypotenuse, the square of hypotenuse, the square of hypotenuse is equal to, is equal to the sum of squares of, sum of squares of other two sides, sum of squares of other two sides. This is what you call as Pythagoras theorem. For that, let me draw one right angle triangle. So, this is one right angle triangle. In this right angle triangle A, B, C, one of the angles is right angle. So, let angle B is equal to right angle. What is the information given in the statement? Given that in triangle A, B, C, in triangle A, B, C, see, in a right angle triangle, that is only the information given. And what kind of triangle that is? that is a right angle triangle. It means one, one of the angles is a right angle. So, in triangle ABC, angle ABC is equal to 90 degrees. That is what the information given, right. See, what are we going to prove here? Going to prove that the square of hypotenuse, what is hypotenuse here? AC is the hypotenuse. So, square of hypotenuse is equal to sum of squares of other two sides. It means a b square plus b c square. This is what you are going to prove. Now, see how do we prove this? Is there any um, information given to prove this a c square equal to a b square plus b c square? You need to think logically. Since this is a b square b c square, a b square means what? a b into a b. b c square is equal to b c into b c. a b into a b, b c into b c, again a c into a c it means you are multiplying the sides. When that multiplication of sides come into picture, if you just think logically and you will have to think whatever the concepts that we learned before this Pythagoras theorem. We learned about the similarity criterion between two triangles. In that, we proved that when two triangles are similar, ratio of their, uh, ratio of their areas is equal to ratio of squares of the corresponding sides and then if two triangles are similar, then their corresponding sides are proportional. These are all the concepts that we learnt when two triangles are similar. So, we can use similarity concept in order to prove this AC square equal to AB square plus BC square. But how is that? But similarity exists only when you are comparing two triangles. There is only one triangle, there is no other triangle. That too, it is exclusively a right angle triangle. So, it is understood one thing that we need a construction. And what is that construction? We need one right angle triangle just to compare with this. So, how do you draw right angle triangle in this? See, is it possible to draw any perpendicular from A? It is not because from, from A already A B is the perpendicular. From C, there is no perpendicular drawn because C B is only the perpendicular. So, it is observed when you observe that you can draw a perpendicular from B on to the side A C. right? When you draw a perpendicular from B onto the side AC, um, think this is the perpendicular, okay? This is the perpendicular. For example, BD is the perpendicular drawn on AC. So this angle is equal to 90 degrees. This angle is also equal to 90 degrees. Now we drew one perpendicular BD on AC. Then what? Then this perpendicular divides this right angle triangle into two different right angle triangles. So, in this picture, we have totally how many number of right angle triangles? There are three number of right angle triangles. What are those three? Basically, ABC is one right angle triangle. 
second one is ADC, ADB is one more right angle triangle, third one is CDB is one more right angle triangle. Now your primary task is to check whether those triangles are similar to each other or not. For that you should know about the angles, otherwise you should know about the sides. We do not know anything about the sides. Let us try about the angles. For that I do one thing, just to identify the angles easily, I will give some names to the triangle, names to the angles. So what are the names to the angles? Here the names are going to be, um, for example, this angle is going to be some theta. If that angle is equal to theta, what about this angle? The total angle is equal to 90. One of the part of the angle is equal to theta. Obviously, the other angle should be 90 minus theta, correct? Because the sum of the two angles is equal to 90 degrees. And this angle is already 90 degrees. In this particular triangle BCD, by angle sum property of triangle, one angle is 90, one angle is 90 minus theta. What would be the other angle? Yes, the other angle would be theta. Coming to this triangle, this is theta, this is 90 degrees. Then what about this angle? You can easily identify that angle because when you compare angles of these two triangles, one is theta, one is 90, one is theta, one is 90. What is other angle? You do not have to calculate, it is already there. That angle is 90 degrees minus theta. So now you know all the three angles of the triangle, in both the two triangles, of course in the basic triangle also. See in both the two triangles, you have angles theta 90, 90 minus theta. So is that not enough to say those two triangles are similar triangles? But the only thing is you need to arrange them in a particular order to say that they are similar triangles. Hope you understand? Right. So now the construction is that, what is the construction? Draw BD perpendicular to AC through B. So that is what the construction. Now I am going to prove this statement. So I will consider two triangles. Those two triangles are the bigger triangle ABC. Consider triangle a, B, C and now triangle, be very careful while you are considering the second triangle because the angles must be same, you are going to verify whether they are similar or not. So that first triangle is A, B, C, I am going to consider this first triangle, this is the first triangle. Okay? In this triangle, A is equal to 90 degrees, now compare that this only triangle with this entire triangle. In this entire triangle, A is equal to 90 minus theta. In this triangle where 90 minus theta is located at A only, so that A is equal to A. In the entire triangle, angle B is equal to 90 degrees. In this only triangle where 90 is located at D, so that in the place of B you write D. And C, in this entire triangle C is equal to theta. This only triangle where that C is located, sorry at theta is located at B, so it is B. Right? Now we will write them. Uh, for example, let us go with angle A. Angle A is equal to 90 degrees minus theta, which is also is equal to angle A. So that is the common angle. And let us write one more 90 degrees, for example. In this entire triangle, A, B, C is 90. So that angle A, B, C is equal to 90 degrees, which is also equal to in this triangle, angle A, D, B. Angle A, D, B. Therefore, Therefore, triangle ABC similar to triangle ADB by AA similarity. They are similar by AA similarity. Since those two triangles are similar by CPST, by CPST, what can you infer about the sides? A B by first side by first side A D is equal to second side B C divided by here second side D B and third side A C divided by here the third side is A B. Once you observe these three ratios are equal, but in two ratios one of the sides is repeated. What is that? A B and A B. So that let us consider these two sides and do cross multiply these two ratios and cross multiply, then what will you get here? AB and AB, so AB into AB is equal to AB square which is equal to AD into AC is AD into AC, right? 
a b square is equal to a d into a c, this is the first information, got it. Similarly, you consider compare this entire triangle with this second triangle, can we say that those two triangles are similar? Of course, they are similar because whatever the angles are there in a b c, they are only there in d b c also, right, but you need to arrange them in a particular order. So, we will write here similarly triangle a b c similarly triangle a b c similar to triangle now you observe first triangle a b c in triangle a b c angle a is equal to 90 minus theta in this triangle where 90 minus theta is located in this triangle 90 minus theta is located at some point what is that point 90 minus theta is located here that is at b so that a is equal to b in this entire triangle a is equal to 90 minus theta but in this only triangle 90 minus theta is located at b so that at a which is which have b and b in this entire triangle b is equal to 90 degrees in this only triangle where 90 is located at d so that b d and in triangle abc angle c is equal to theta where theta is located in second triangle of course at c only so at c by a a similarity correct since these two triangles are similar by cpst first side by first side ab divided by bd second side by second side bc divided by dc is equal to third side by third side that is ac by bc once you observe in this three ratios also there are there is one side which is repeated what is the repeated side bc and bc so you will have to consider both of them and do cross multiplication so when you cross multiply what will you get b c into b c is equal to b c square which is equal to d c into a c right this is the second equation so after getting first and second equations you can understand one thing that you need to prove a c square is equal to a b square plus b c square we have the value of a b square here we have the value of b c square so that it is understood that you need to add both first and second equations so, when you add both first and second equations, what will you get? In order to add two equations, you will have to add left hand side to the left hand side as well as right hand side to the right hand side. Then you will get here left hand side is a b square and here b c square. So, that a b square plus b c square which is equal to right hand side plus right hand side. Here right hand side is a d into a c a d into a c plus here right hand side is a c into d c a c into d c see a d into a c plus a c into d c can we take one a c common in these two terms a c into here it is a d and here it is d c what is a d plus d c a d plus d c is equal to a c so a c into a c is going to be a c square therefore a b square plus b c square is equal to a c square so this way we can prove pythagoras theorem by using similarity concepts so this is one of the interesting uh, proof of pythagorean theorem so hope you understand you can go by any one of these two interesting theorems of course uh, whatever you feel comfortable but this is what is suggested in our uh, cbsc ncrt textbook so generally we do follow this in order to answer the problems given in our board examinations right next we are going to discuss about one of the very very important application on this pythagoras theorem what is that very important application on this pythagoras theorem i'll just explain you that see there is a right angle triangle okay this is right angle triangle a b c right this is right angle right angle at b and of course, I am going to draw one perpendicular from B on to the AC. Let this perpendicular is suppose D. Okay? This is the perpendicular. See, just now we discussed about the sides of the right angle triangle uh, like AB square plus BC square is equal to AC square. In order to prove that, we proved that 
this entire triangle is similar to this triangle and this entire triangle is similar to this triangle. Obviously, these two triangles also similar if you want you can check. See, I am going to take this angle is equal to x. What about this angle 90 minus x? This is already 90 degrees because it is a perpendicular. So, since it is 90 degrees, this is 90 minus x. What about this angle? It is x. Similarly, this is x, this is 90 degrees. What about this? This angle is equal to 90 degrees minus x. So, these two triangles are obviously similar triangles. So, in which direction they are similar? I am fixing this triangle ADB. So, triangle ADB similar to triangle here A is equal to 90 minus x. Here, which is 90 minus x? B is equal to 90 minus x. And D, in this D is equal to 90, here also D is equal to 90. And B, in this triangle B is equal to x, in this triangle C is equal to x. These two triangles are similar. Since these two triangles are similar, then by CPST, we can say that AD by BD is equal to DB by DC is equal to AB by BC, right. Once you observe, again here, one of the sides is repeated. What is that repeated side? BD and DB. Let us consider these two and by cross multiplication, you can say that BD into DB or BD. So, BD into BD is equal to BD square, which is equal to AD into DC is equal to AD into DC. So, BD square is equal to AD into DC. It means BD square, this part whole square is equal to AD into DC. This is one of the very important and useful application of Pythagoras theorem. And see here, if BD square is equal to AD into DC, can you tell something about this BD for AD and DC? Suppose you have terms like x, y, z such that y square is equal to x, z. If y square is equal to x, z, then what do you call this y to x and z? You already learned it. It is said to be the mean proportional between x and z, where y is said to be the mean proportional between x and z. Like that, here B D is the perpendicular, right? Any perpendicular drawn from the right vertex of a right angled triangle is the mean proportional between A D and D C. Please do remember that, that is B D square is equal to A D into D C. This is one of the important applications of Pythagorean theorem. So, hope you understand. Thank you.